In this video, we will go over frequently asked questions about automatic trading and backtesting in Pro Real Time. You will find timestamps for each question in the description. If you are new to backtesting and automatic trading on Pro Real Time, we recommend that you first watch our video about how to create, backtest, and execute a strategy in automatic trading mode. Are brokerage fees included in backtest performance? For a more realistic backtest, it's possible to add brokerage fees in the section shown here when creating or modifying any backtest. You can set these fees in currency per order, percentage of transaction, or currency per contract. It's also possible to set a minimum and maximum brokerage fee and a bid-ask spread. Can I run my backtest on a longer history? To modify the time period of a backtest, click the equity curve and select Modify Then choose the time period. You will see by default that the backtest starts at the earliest date displayed on the chart. You can then choose to load more data in your charts by choosing the drop down menu and selecting a higher number of units, such as 100,000. In the premium version of Pro Real Time, you can also load up to 1 million candlesticks of intraday historical data. Does backtesting with tick-by-tick -tick data slow my backtest down? As shown in this image, when backtesting with tick-by-tick -tick data, if the price of both a profit target and stop-loss order was touched in the same bar, ProRealTime will be able to identify which one was touched first and trigger the corresponding order and cancel the other one. Backtesting with tick-by-tick -tick data will only slow down the backtest on candles like this where a doubt is encountered about whether the profit target or stop loss should be executed. So, backtesting with tick-by-tick -tick data is always a plus since the result will be more accurate. To configure this option, click the equity curve of any backtest and choose Modify, then tick the box Pro Backtest in tick-by-tick -tick mode. Real-time data is required to use backtesting in tick-by-tick -tick mode. Can I get notifications when a backtest places an order? If you have a backtest on one of your charts and access to real-time data, the backtest will continue executing in real-time whenever new data arrives in the platform. You can get an alert when the backtest places an order by activating Pro Backtest Alerts in the General section. Can I receive notifications when my system is stopped? You can get notifications by going to Platform Settings, Notifications and Sounds, and Automatic Trading. It's possible to get a platform notification when a strategy starts, stops, or fails in the Notification Center. You can also choose to be notified by email a certain amount of time before your strategy expires. We automatically send emails to the address associated with your trading account whenever one of your strategies stops. How to limit trading hours for backtesting and automatic trading. Some markets have much higher liquidity during the main trading hours and lower liquidity outside of these hours. To quickly customize the trading hours of an instrument, you can press the eye icon on the chart, then click on trading hours. This will automatically open the time zones and trading hours settings window for the corresponding market. For example, in the CME E-mini settings shown here, we can choose limit the display on intraday charts and choose from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. in local market time, which are the times that there's generally the most trading volume on these futures. Filtering intraday data in this way also increases the speed of intraday backtests as less candles are tested every day. After clicking Apply Changes, these modifications will apply to the next backtests and automatic trading strategies that we start. We can also set trading hours using assisted creation mode. We can use these settings to set the time of day before and after which the system should not place new orders and define certain days of the week that the system should not trade. You can also see an example of how to do this with programming using the time and open day of week instructions here. How to exit positions at the end of the trading day. 
Assisted creation mode can also be used to define the time of day before and after which the system should always be flat. You can see an example of how to do this in programming mode here using the flat before and flat after instructions. These instructions use the time zone applied to the market. So make sure that you have the local market time zone selected in the time zones and trading hours section. How to exit positions after a certain number of bars have passed. Here is an example of exiting a position after a certain number of bars have passed instead of at the end of the trading day. We first initialize the variable bars equal to zero, then use the variable bars limit to set the maximum bars inside the trade to 15. If the strategy has an open position, bars is increased by one every bar while the position is open. If the number of bars is greater than the limit we have set, then we have the strategy exit the position. How to program a strategy using indicators in different chart timeframes. A trading strategy can be programmed in several different timeframes using the timeframe instruction. In this example, we are analyzing the market entry conditions in the one hour time frame. However, orders are managed on the one minute time frame. Each minute, the strategy will check to see if the buying conditions are validated and use that information to decide whether or not to enter a position. How to use limit and stop orders to enter the market in an automatic trading strategy. The syntax to use is, for example, buy at X limit for a limit order where X is the price level of the order. In this first example, instead of placing a market order when our buy condition is met, we place a limit order two ticks below the close price. We can do the same thing with the instruction buy at X stop for a stop order. In this example, if our buying conditions are met, we place a buy stop order at the price of the parabolic SAR indicator. How to set profit targets and stop losses with programming. We saw in the previous video how to set profit targets and stop losses with assisted creation. On this page of the ProRealCode website's glossary, we can see examples of how to set them with programming. For a profit target order, we use the syntax set target dollar sign profit x. And for a profit target in percentage, we can use set target percentage profit x. Set stop dollar sign loss x sets a stop loss when loss amount reaches x in the currency of the instrument. We can set a trailing stop in the currency amount with the instruction shown here set stop dollar sign trailing x. A stop loss in percentage can be set using the command set stop percentage loss x. You can find examples of use of many other instructions like the ones presented in this video in the ProRealCode glossary. This site also offers discussion forums and training courses about programming with ProRealTime. You will find a link in the description. How to adjust position size depending on the success of a strategy. It's possible to use a variable to set the size of your position in a trading strategy instead of a fixed amount. We can use the instruction strategy profit to use the current profit made by all closed trades in the strategy up until the present in determining the position size, as shown in this example. How to limit the number of orders a strategy places in one day. We saw in the previous video that when we start a strategy, we can set a limit so that if the strategy places too many orders in one day, ProRealTime will stop the strategy. You can also limit the number of orders the strategy places via programming. Let's say that we want to limit the number of orders to enter the market to four per day. We will start with the code created by assisted creation in the last video. We will then add this code to the beginning of the strategy. The variable n is used to control the number of trades. Here, we will increase n by 1 each time the strategy enters the market. In the buying conditions, we will add that n must be less than 4, otherwise the order to enter the market will not be placed. In this way, we ensure that our strategy never places more than 4 orders to enter the market in a single day. The variable n is reset to 0 at the beginning of each day, 
which allows the system to start trading again. Which brokers should I choose for automatic trading? You can see the list of brokers that it's possible to connect to Pro Real Time by going to the Pro Real Time website and clicking on Our Brokerage Services in the top menu to learn about what instruments can be traded with each broker. You now know how to more effectively use the backtesting and automatic trading modules. See you soon on Pro Real Time.